question was what is the hardest part of working with a brand new scrum team i guess it, it depends on whether you're talking about a team member joining the team or like a scrum master or agile coach working with a brand new scrum team it's probably both pretty similar it's it's what we think we know i think it's it's, it's the same is true when you work with any group of people new that you 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 it's um I always, this is one of my, my, my tests, right? I, I ask teams, people, companies, I ask them um, how they think they're doing at Scrum or Agile or whatever. And if they say we're awesome at it, I know it's going to be a complete car crash. Um, and if they say, well, you know, we're, 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 we don't think we're doing that well. We really need some extra help. Uh, we're trying to do different things, but we're hitting stumbling blocks you know it's going to be absolutely awesome right because they, they've got they've got to that point where they realize what they don't know and that's that's an, a big inflection point for for teams um so when you're working with teams new teams um the 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 the, the biggest gap is what they think they know they they think that they have to do user stories they think that they should be doing planning poker and story points um, they think they should be doing estimation. Um, they, they think they should be doing burn downs. They think they should be monitoring their velocity. Uh, and all of those things are nothing to do with Scrum, right? They're, they're, they're barely mentioned in the Scrum guide. Burn downs are mentioned. I'm not sure velocity is, but burn downs mentioned as a EG, here's a list of things you might do. Um, so they're not intrinsic to the, to the process at all. They're strategic choices you might make, right? Um, and trying to help them understand the difference between that and like the, 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 the fluff, right? So the core, the core thing that, that we need to understand as, as individuals, as teams, as uh, uh, members of teams, is that we're trying to create, we're trying to leverage empiricism, right? It's a scientific method. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do something very small. We're gonna get it to the people who are gonna use it, and then we're gonna analyze their usage. And maybe get, maybe they're gonna tell us feedback. But we're gonna analyze their usage, and then we're gonna change what we do based on that that loop. That's that uh, an empirical empirical loop, and that knowledge that understanding seems to be fundamentally missing from 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 most teams that are doing scrum right um they they they, they don't they, they never learned or never understood the the foundational elements and they're just looking at the, me the mechanisms in scrum and just following mechanical mechanical scrum um, so trying to get them to understand that all of the mechanical parts are just the bollocks you need to make sure you get the, 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 the empiricism, feedback loops, shortening the time to market, getting that, getting, closing that feedback loop, closing that time to learn, right? Those are the things that actually matter and whether you're doing focusing on, on, on Kanban or Scrum or Kanban and Scrum or Lean or whatever, it's our DevOps, it's, it's all fundamentally the, the same thing that we're trying to, trying, to, trying to achieve. Those underlying foundations, if we understand them, everything else is just, right, what would we like to do in the way we do it in order to be successful? Um, and bringing those foundations in when people have already built houses on top um, is much harder.